back to another vlog. My name is D Dominique. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. So today we're finally going to get these drawers together. And then I feel like there was something else. Oh, I have a couple other things to show you from Black Friday that arrived. And then I also had something that I already put up that I want to show you guys. That's so cool. But um, let me show you the Black Friday first. So I'm planning to like I guess add to my um, living room decor so on the wall ooh, this is pretty heavy <laughs> so I got two round mirrors let me put it up here and then I'll show you where I'm going to put them but I got them from Amazon. I feel like most of the stuff I got for Black Friday was from Amazon, but it was still a little bit of everywhere. Also, I have my ring light because my camera, my camera's not cheap, <laughs> but compared to all the fancy vlog cameras, mine is not that. So, I feel like my quality is a little bit of trash, but you know, gotta work with what you got. So I was like, let me try the ring light and see if that makes the, um, the quality better, especially in the house when it's getting a bit darker and the sun isn't shining super bright. So, hopefully it will make a difference, a good difference. So this is the mirror that I got. So originally, I had my eye on a few, of course. Um, and it's kind of hard sometimes to tell in the reviews because if there's nothing around the mirror, then you don't really know the size of it. But um, this was originally, I believe, $59, so like $60. And then I got, I got it for um, $35 on Black Friday. So I got two of them. And it's gold. But I just absolutely love it. And... Let me show you guys what the plan is for it. Again, excuse the mess. <laughs> but I'm going to put it between these two um, windows right here. So I'm not doing anything like super spectacular fancy, but I have like in my mind what I want to do. So I was really excited because um, I had my eye on a few, like I was saying, and then looking at prices. I didn't want to get ones that were like super expensive. So I found ones that I did like, and I didn't mind spending $60 on them. So when I saw that they were on sale for Black Friday, I was like, even better, and only $35. So I definitely got those. Oh, and another thing. So like I, I mentioned in the last video, I didn't initially plan to like Black Friday shop when I was on Amazon. I had already had stuff on my list that I was um, gonna get. So I just happened to be scrolling through my list and a bunch of like the items had like a red tag or whatever that said Black Friday deal. So next year, or maybe even on um, Amazon Prime Day or uh, Cyber Monday or whatever the deals are that they have go to your list that you have your favorites and then they might have it there because there was say I had like 10 things on my list there was probably like six that were a Black Friday deal so excuse me that's that then let me show you the other thing that I got um which were like so my mom sent me this um this video of I guess they're automatic lights. I don't know. You've probably seen them when you walk by and they come on. And I I wanted to get those for my closet. Because if you remember, I put my dresser in there. And the ones that I... The, the one that she sent me, they, were, they had like horrible reviews. So I was just like looking, looking, scrolling. And then I just searched, entered um, into the search the same type of light or style of light that that was. And I found one that had can't remember if it had like either a little bit of views but like 
five stars or the opposite so i was like a little worried but i was like you know what let me try it because they were on sale for 15 dollars. so i ordered one and i think i ordered them the wednesday before black friday and today is i think today's the 7th december 7th and the ones that i have like the battery still hasn't died so I think like after like a week, I was like, you know what? I need them for another closet. So let me go ahead and order some more. And they were still $15. Um, so I was glad that I did that because I checked like two days later and the regular price is $30. So I got a good deal on that as well. So let me show you those. I ended up ordering another one. For that side so again don't mind the messy top I'm going to I'm going to better organize that but it definitely added a ton of light and they have um, it's on off and auto I have it set on auto obviously so that way when I open the um, open the closet it's there but I like how small they are. And then also, um, they're rechargeable. And when you're ready to charge it, you just kind of like slide it off. And the magnets are what stick. So you just charge the light and then you put it right back. So I'm definitely happy with them. I'm sure these ones in here will last much longer. So this is the other one that I got for... Um, all right so you saw i have them in my bedroom closet my bathroom and my um linen closet excuse the messes so they came in a two pack for 15 dollars. that was the sale price i initially got just one because i wanted it for my bathroom and for my closet and then so the initial reason that i wanted to get those lights were because i'm not a morning person at all like i'd rather get up and do what i have to do in the morning but i'm tired i'm not full of energy i'm not chipper i'm not that i don't know if you guys saw the meme where they're like um when your co-worker says good morning and it like pisses you off <laughs> that's me but i'm like if you talk to me in the morning i'm gonna be friendly to you i'm just not gonna be like super bubbly i'm never gonna be rude but so in the morning i'll be so tired i just go in there and be in the dark with the night light <laughs> and i mean like the dark dark but you don't need the light to brush your teeth and floss and use mouthwash and wash your face once you have to get ready and use the mirror you know but with the night light that i have it does give you um it gives some light it's obviously not pitch black but that light adds more and if i remember once it gets like dark outside i'll show you like the light that it does provide oh and it also has um three settings so it's like super bright not that bright and then like less bright but um so then once i got that and then i saw like because i was also worried since it's rechargeable was it going to die fast um <clears throat> excuse me so once i saw that i was like you know what let me just go ahead and order another one while they're 15 dollars. that way if they're great i got it and i didn't miss the sale so then i was like i'm gonna put one on the other side of my bedroom closet and then in the linen closet because even when the lights on in the bathroom, sometimes the linen closet is still kind of dark. So I'm very happy with those. I love the price. It was basically half off. So yeah. And then I'm expecting some more packages. I don't know if I'll get them today. But um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started on these drawers. Let me show you the mess. So this is the junk drawer definitely doing what it's supposed to do and then this is the silver and all that stuff so I needed more space for this because I have soup spoons and then just all this other stuff is just kind of like thrown so it's a little annoying but yeah let me grab the organizers again just to give you a refresh on what those look like and then we will finally get started and I wanted to make a um a short for this as well <clears throat> so i was looking on 
TikTok for um, organization videos. And I saw like a really cool idea if you are going to, um, <clears throat> I saw a really cool idea if you're going to get your containers from the store. Um, the girl said to put, um, I don't know if she called it packing paper, but I guess some some kind of paper, maybe like um, when you like when you get like a gift box, that paper. I don't know if it's like that or maybe even a gift bag. But she said to put the paper in your drawer and then obviously cut it out to the shape of the drawer and then take that piece of paper with you and then you would line the organizers on the paper. That way you know what size you need and all that stuff like that. But that's only gonna do you good if you're gonna, if you have an organ, um, a whatchamacallit, uh, a container store where you live. But, all right, so this is the first size. One, two, three, four, five of those. Just kidding, um, 10 of those. And then this is the next one. And there are two, three, four, eight of those. And then this size. There are six of those. Oh, my battery's dying. And then the last one, these are the biggest one, three of those.
all right so i'm done let me go ahead and give you a junk drawer tour <laughs> so i have a ton of batteries some tools pens and uh chalk and marker for the um what do you call it these spice bottles um these are a thousand and one allen wrenches uh cables uh, vacuum pieces the filter and to clean the whatever the whatever that is <laughs> um, measuring tape um, random screws and nails and then we have tape block charging blocks um, this is the candy bar what do you call it candy bar charger um, the balance thing out of balance bubble I'm not sure what the technical name is and then a doorstop <laughs> and then we have some cords these go to my vacuum the uh, electric drill and I think to charge I don't know some like Android piece type of charger and then we have measuring tape the extra magnet that came with the lights that I just showed you guys a screwdriver envelopes that I'll probably never use um, command strips and then these ones right here these bigger type of velcro strips I actually use these as a bumper for my trash can so that it doesn't destroy the wall so that's an ideal if you guys need that and then we got random leftover pieces from my um, TV stand from the six piece drawer that I just did the other vlog um, I'm assuming this is wood glue. I don't know. Stuff that I'll probably never leave, never need, but I'm definitely like a hoarder, so I don't want to let it go. Um, a little nail kit and then some push pins because I want to put some lights under my cabinets. The ones I got didn't initially work, so those are just there in the back. But that's everything. Definitely more organized. I'm going to force myself to keep it that way.
All right, so that one wasn't as bad. I'm definitely happy with it. It's nice and big. Um, and then I had some extra containers. And then I had some extra containers that I used. So I put the, uh, like my sauces. I have a lot of barbecue sauce from um, Chick-fil-A. Um, soy sauce, duck sauce, vinegar from um, Five Guys. And then I have a little injector. And then I put my um, scrapers in there. But I like how it looks. I have room for everything now, especially my soup spoons. So, um, yeah, I like it. I'm happy. Nice and organized, nice and big, spacious. I wish maybe it was a tiny bit smaller so I could have fit the containers in there, but I'm happy with it. All right, that's it for the organization. So what I'm about to do is eat. Um, I made tacos. I guess taco salad last night. Yeah, I made tacos, but I made like a taco bowl with um, Doritos. So I'm going to eat that. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow because this weekend we are going to be making Christmas blankets. So I'm going to take you guys with me tomorrow to the store to grab the fabric. So good night. So it is actually like two days later, but um, as you notice, I did not take you with me to Hobby Lobby. Forgot to grab my camera and I wasn't thinking about my phone. But um, so today I did my nails on Friday night and two popped off yesterday. <laughs> but um, so actually yesterday was my birthday and I went to a comedy show in Baltimore and then to K-pop, which is Korean barbecue. And it was so much fun. Like, that was my first official comedy show, like, at a comedy club. I went to see a comedian before. Like, I've seen comedians before, but it was, like, one of those. It was a concert, and then they had comedians, like, that type of thing. But this was my first one. Um, I will put some um, footage in that I did get from my phone. I saw Red Grant. Um, if you don't know who that is, you'll see the clip. But he's the light-skinned guy that's um, always with uh, Cat Williams. He's so funny. And the, the person that hosted, his name was Skeet. I forget what his last name was. And then the opener was Davey Ruffin. And they were all so funny. Like, I had so much fun. But um, I'm just sitting here. Since I'm only doing two nails, fixing two nails, I figured I'll just sit in the bathroom and do it. So we'll finish this up. And then I will see you guys when we go to make the blankets.
Y así, ¿no? So I'm back and let's just say, in my opinion, the blankets were a fail. <laughs> so it was, um, it's funny because the video that we looked at, that we watched, she was like that they're supposed to be, supposed to be perfectly imperfect. And I guess that's what I'm gonna call it, but it didn't come out <laughs> square. Um, I was recording with my phone, so I'll put that, um, like, you'll, you'll have seen that. But, like, my mom said they look like bonnets. And they kind of do because it's not like, it's like a circle. When I lay it down on the floor, it looks like a circle. But, so I don't know. And it was more time consuming than I thought it was going to be, but it was still fun. But, um, this one you can really see, like, it's round but right now i'm about to wash it so it can have that um fresh clean laundry smell because i'm gonna use it like while i'm on the couch right now but um so that's that it was fun and this is definitely gonna be like warm because i mean i have sweats on but i was like getting warm while i had it on my lap doing you know making it <laughs> but let me show you what i got from ulta and Sephora so I went my main reason for going was to get the my birthday gift and they were sold out or not sold out because they don't sell it but they ran out but um yeah so what I got was my main goal was to go there for the birthday gift but next weekend um we're doing a girl a Christmas girls night and we're going to do um a color theme gift exchange so my color is red so I wanted to get a couple things for that um should I show this I think I'll show it because it's gonna be me my mom my aunt and my cousin um my mom usually watches later and my cousin might watch it but if you are watching just pretend like you didn't see this just in case you get my basket so I got the um the, the headband for when you wash your face and um, do your makeup. I guess whatever whatever you would want it for. But I got that. I thought that was cute. And then I got um, the e.l.f. lip oil. And these, um, I saw someone like use these and they said it's just like a really light tint. But since it's an oil, that's what made me get it because not everyone likes lip color and then especially red um yeah that's all i got from there i'm gonna get the rest of the stuff from my basket this week and this weekend because we're not doing it until sunday but so i got these are the first two things i got i'm excited to put the basket together maybe i'll give them 
this. It's like, I'm just playing. <laughs> They're gonna be like, get that bonnet out of here. And then I got this because the last time I was there, um, because the last time I was there, they were like completely sold out. So I got this one to try. This one's honeydew. And again, if it gets annoying that I describe and explain why I got things, let me know. It's just a habit, I don't know. You guys don't care why I got it, but I wanted to try it. Hope this one smells good. Cause even though you're not supposed to open them in the store, I opened the only one that was left last time was the vanilla one. And it was like, I feel like if you're into false scents, you would like the vanilla one, but it stunk to me, so I didn't get it. This one's honeydew. Doesn't really smell like anything. Hmm. Smells like you would imagine, I guess, like a melon. Nice little shine, tiny little thing. I think that cost $5. Um, and then I got the Miel Drops. And then, I don't know if this is new, but this is the first time I saw it. Um, Frank, Frank Bod. Yeah, Frank Body. They have a body wash now. So I got that to try. And this one is Cucumber Water Lily. And this one is with Hyaluronic Acid and this one's for like moisturizing yeah moisture smooth and quench smells good i smelled it in the store let's see if i can describe i guess it's like a fresh clean scent whatever water lily smell like cucumber water lily i could i guess i could smell the cucumber and that's all i got from from ulta i um they had 20 i mean 10 off of 20 dollars so all of that came to uh $30 and 93 cents actually no yep yeah, yep yeah, $30 and 93 cents without my birthday gift and i missed my starbucks um gift i mean my free drink from starbucks i wish they would give you like a couple days but starbucks is like you're gonna come on your birthday you're not getting it and guess what i ain't get it so that's it from Ulta and then I went to Sephora and I got some toner. I don't know if you remember me getting this one last time when I didn't want to spend $20 on the, the Kiehl's one and I actually liked it so I just got it again. I think this was $10. And then the birthday gift they had at Sephora was mascara, Ilia, which is, I don't know if that's a Sephora brand or not, but mascara. And then I got two more things for my basket. I got, and this was actually pretty cool. Um, I might go back and get one for myself, but Sephora exfoliating and smoothing body scrub, but it's like a bar. So I thought that was cool. I like like body stuff like that, so I figured they will too. And then I got some under eye mask. This one is, I guess just pomegranate. Oh, it says anti-fatigue and anti-dark circles. That's what I need. Um, so yeah. So I'm really excited to put my basket together. I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree. Oh, so for all of that at Sephora, Sephora was 30% off, which was cool because I thought it was only 20% off. So all that was only $17. I saved $6.90, if you're wondering. But um, yeah, so I'm excited to get the rest of the stuff for my basket. I'm gonna go to um the Dollar Tree this week. Hopefully I can find a red basket, but if not, I have red wrapping paper, so I'll just get a regular one and then wrap that, but it's gonna be fun to get that. Um, Yeah, so that's it for everything that I got tonight. And my fell of a blanket, but I still recommend doing this if you're interested because it was fun. We went to, so my mom, so you know how they have the, um, 
like the memes or whatever on Instagram and probably TikTok too. Um, like when you be, when you make a friend at work that's older than you and they'd be like, damn, what? where's Charlene at today? Like I miss, so that's how my mom and her work friend are. My mom's friend from work is like, like two or three years younger than me. And then my mom obviously is older. My mom's 60, but she don't look like she's 60 though. But them two are like really good friends. So I became friends with her through my mom. But so we went to um, her house and we were there. Her kids were there. It was just fun hanging out. Like we ordered pizza and then we had the um, the YouTube fireplace in the background <laughs> listening to Christmas music. So it was a vibe. But yeah, so even though it came out looking like a bonnet, I would recommend doing it because it was fun. And I don't know. I thought it was cool. But if we do it again, we got these from um, from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, because I forgot to take y'all. But um, so they didn't have any Christmas patterns in this material, like the blanket material. So if we do do it again, they want to. I don't know how I feel about it because I don't like how mine came out. And it took much longer than I thought it was going to. But again, it was still fun. But we're going to go to Joanne Fabrics next, next time and hope that we can find like Christmas patterns. So that's just why mine is just red and white. But um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. But yeah, so that is it for today's video. I'm going to end the vlog here. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah, my nails. You can see them a little bit better now. Like from far away, I feel like I did good. And they you would think first glance, like I probably got them done professionally. And not that they are Gel X from Amazon. But I like them. Like I said, I like the darker sparkle, but these are still good. I want a red sparkle for Christmas and that's what they are. But um, what was I saying? I promise I don't have ADHD, but I feel like sometimes when I be on here, I be talking a lot and talking in circles, but we're going in the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you in the next video.